Hey everyone, Danielle Bean here. I'm a writer and a speaker and manager at catholicmom.com. I wanna talk with you today a little bit about what I especially love about Mary, especially during this beautiful month of May. It's a great time to reflect on our relationship with Mary and those things that we particularly appreciate about our Heavenly Mother. And um, two things I want to share with you today. The first of which is what we read about Mary doing in the second chapter of Luke. This is just after baby Jesus was born, right? So we've got this beautiful image of the shepherds coming to worship baby Jesus. They went with haste and found him lying in the manger and they're worshiping him. And then what do we read about Mary there? What did she do? Well, what she did was nothing. And I think there's a lot for us to learn inside of that. Because imagine this scene. This is the greatest event in the history of man, right? It's God made man is there lying in the manger, right? And she's been instrumental in this process in the birth of Christ and yet she didn't do anything like I can imagine if I were involved in such a momentous thing that I would be running around with a to-do list I'd be planning a press conference whatever it is right we'd have things on our list of stuff that we need to do in this important occasion and yet Mary didn't have a list of to-dos. She didn't do anything. What do we read about Mary there? What we read about Mary is that she kept all of these things and reflected on them in her heart. And that's so beautiful, so powerful. It has such great meaning for me as a woman and as a mom that this is one of the gifts that we have as women is the ability to keep things. We notice these small things the ability to reflect on things in our heart in a way that's a very natural feminine gift. It's a gift that we're meant to use in service to our families. It's part of how we love them. To reflect on beautiful things in our hearts, that means focusing on relationships, not doing. And I think every one of us needs that reminder that sometimes we can fall prey to that temptation to feel like we can earn our holiness. We can earn God's love, right? We can earn you know, our salvation in some way by doing things, right? When God tells us we are worthy and we are loved because we are simply by being. And Mary teaches us that here. She's not running around trying to earn God's love in any way. She is receiving God's love, receiving the gift of the Savior, reflecting on the beauty of that, keeping that in her heart. So she's observing silently observing this beautiful moment in history. And that's a beautiful example for us of Mary as the perfect woman using her feminine gift of seeing, seeing and keeping this beautiful moment in her heart. So Mary kept these things and reflected on them in her heart. That's something every one of us should strive to do more inside of our daily living. And I know it's busy and we're distracted with many things, but Mary is that steadfast reminder. Whatever's going on around you, it's not as momentous, it's not as important as the moment when Jesus was born, right? And yet Mary didn't do anything in that moment. She gave us that beautiful example, a beautiful lesson of not doing anything, simply being, keeping these things and reflecting on them in her heart. And then the second thing I wanna mention is that Mary She's our mom. This is so great that we get Mary.